So tutorial 11 in electric circuit analysis is basically the maximum power transfer theorem. We'll solve few problems and understand the concept. Uh, we know that maximum, uh, maximum power transfer theorem, which is in short written as MPT, uh, here we know that maximum power can be transferred from the source to the load if the load resistance is equal to the Thevenin resistance of the network and the maximum power can be transferred uh, which is having a value of the voltage Thevenin uh, square divided by four times the load register RL across which the maximum power has to be determined. Make a clear note here, although the power is equal to V square by R formula, but in maximum power transfer theorem, the maximum power we have a four uh, constant here, which is a special note here. Uh, students do commit a mistake, they leave this four term uh, when they do the calculation. So when you have to find the maximum power, you will be having the Thevenin's voltage square divided by four times the resistance Thevenin. So we should understand the Thevenin's theorem uh, properly to solve the numerical on maximum power transfer theorem. Let us solve the first problem. Uh, determine the maximum power that is delivered to the load register R. Okay, so this register across this, what is the maximum power that can be transferred? So let us look the circuit, what it is. We have 3 kilo ohms and 2 kilo ohm two registers. 5 volt is the source voltage. We have a dependent voltage source of 100 V0. So V0 is the voltage drop which is across the 2 kilo ohm register. We have 10 kilo ohms and 40 kilo ohm register connected in the second part of the circuit. Here we have open, so no current will flow here. And we have to determine the maximum power across the register R. Let us see the solution. So as you know that we have to deal with the Thevenin's theorem. So we have to find the open circuit voltage in the register R. So you have to remove this R with open circuit and you have to determine what is the open circuit voltage. So open circuit voltage is basically the Thevenin's voltage that you have to determine. Let us see how to determine that. Uh, so if we take the first loop here, we have to determine what is the potential V0. So this we can do it uh, in the form of a voltage division rule because 3 kilo ohms and 2 kilo ohms are in series. So voltage division rule says that the numerator will be 2 kilo ohms because across which we need to find the voltage divided by the sum of the resistances 2 plus 3 that is 5 kilo ohms multiplied with the source voltage that is 5 volt. So 2 volt is the voltage which is across the 2 kilo ohm register. It means that the open circuit voltage VOC, which is uh, across this, is the same voltage which is across this one, right? Open circuit voltage here. Now, uh, the Thevenin's voltage is basically the potential drop across the 40 kilo ohm register. What is the potential drop here? That will be the Thevenin's voltage or the open circuit voltage because these two are in parallel. So again, we can apply the voltage division rule here because 100 V0, that is the dependent voltage source, we have found out the value of V0. So 100 multiplied with 2, we will have 200 volt as the voltage of this source. And we have a register of 10 kilo ohms and 40 kilo ohm. So on the numerator, we have 40 kilo ohms and on the denominator, we have 40 plus 10, that is 50 kilo ohms with a source voltage of 200 volt. That gives to be the Thevenin's voltage to be 160 volt. Now, we know that a resistance is basically voltage by current. So we can have the open circuit voltage by short circuit current will give the Thevenin's resistance. So let us find the short circuit current through this register. If we sort this register, obviously this register will also be sorted because both will have the same voltage. Then the short circuit current which is flowing here is basically 200 volt, which is the voltage of this dependent source divided by the register of 10 kilo ohms here, that is the current which is flowing, that is 20 milliampere. Now we can find the resistance Thevenin, which is open circuit voltage, that is a Thevenin's voltage by short circuit current, which is equal to 8 kilo ohms. So our circuit is, we have a Thevenin's voltage here, which is 160 volt. We have a Thevenin resistance here, that is 8 kilo ohms. And this is our load register RL. For maximum power transfer theorem, uh, we have the 
resistance threading is equal to load register and the maximum power that can be transferred to the network is voltage thevenin square divided by 4 times the load register. The load register is again equal to the thevenin resistance only to have the maximum power. So the maximum power is 0 0.8 watt which is the answer for this particular question. Problem 2. Determine the value of the load register RL for maximum power transfer theorem. So in this particular network, we have to determine what is the value of RL. So obviously you know that RL is equal to R thevenin. So here you need to find what is the equivalent resistance in the network. Now note here we have a dependent voltage source in this particular network. So the solution is like that. If we need to find the value of RL, since we have a dependent voltage source, we can connect a voltage source of V1 or you can say 1 volt here and these voltage source will be short circuited. This is in accordance with uh, the laws that we have studied when we need to find the value of R thevenin. So we have the value of Vx here that is the dependent voltage source. Now at this particular node there is a entering current I1 and there is a division of the current at these two particular nodes. Since these two registers are in series, the current which is flowing here will be same, same current will be flowing here and the resistance is also same so the potential drop will be also same. So here it is given Vx, so Vx is the potential which is across the 4 ohms register where Vx is the dependent voltage source. So what is the current which is flowing this side? So the total current is I1 minus what is the current which is flowing this side is basically Vx by 4 uh, current it is flowing. So Vx by 4 is the current which is flowing uh, this side. So if you subtract that the remaining current will flow this side right. So we can apply the laws of KVL which was voltage law to find the relationship between V1 and Vx and in terms of I1. We know that V1 by I1 is basically the resistance thevenin because we want to determine the resistance thevenin at the input terminal. So we have connected a voltage here and we are finding the current which is flowing. So voltage divided by current will have the thevenin resistance. So we can have seen that 4 ohm is basically the thevenin resistance. It means that the maximum power can be transferred when the load register is equal to 4 ohm which is equal to the thevenin register. Here in this problem power maximum is not required otherwise it will be voltage thevenin square by 4 times resistance thevenin. Then you need to determine the voltage thevenin also uh, for this particular problem. However it is not required. Problem 3 find the value of the register R in the circuit such that maximum power transfer take place and what is the amount of the power. So the register is here across which you need to determine what is the maximum power uh, taking place and the value of R uh, the load register. So load register will be equal to the thevenin resistance. So this thevenin resistance you have to determine across these two terminals. So what is the thevenin resistance across these two terminals that you have to determine. So let us see how to do that. This register will be open circuited. So we have created an open circuit to find the Thevenin's voltage or the open circuit voltage. And we need to determine the resistance Thevenin by sorting the voltage source. So voltage source will be replaced with a short circuit, current source replaced with open circuit. But here we don't have the current source, we have only the voltage source and this is only for the independent voltage source. So we have a 4 volt independent voltage source and 6 volt independent voltage source. So it is easy to find the value of R thevenin because we have a series parallel concept. So 1 ohms and 2 ohms will be in parallel that will come uh, in series with the 5 ohm register which is in parallel with the 1 ohm register to find the R thevenin. VOC that is the open circuit voltage you can find out using the principle of mesh analysis. We can create two mesh I1 and I2 current flowing in the two mesh and we can determine the potential first across this 1 ohm register and then we have the potential here 6 volt. So we can determine what is the potential here at the input 
terminal or the registered terminal. So if we apply the mess one uh, here, what is the KVL? We'll have one equation. Mess two uh, here we will have one more equation. So two equations in two variables i one and i two. We need to determine the current i two because what is the potential drop across this one ohm register? That we need to determine. That will be added with this source voltage. Then we can determine what is the Thevenin's voltage V O C. So once we have determined the current I two, uh, you can apply the KVL concept here again to determine the open circuit voltage or the Thevenin's voltage in the network. That is thirty two by five volt. Resistance Thevenin you can obtain from series parallel concept, which is equal to seventeen by twenty ohms. Then the power maximum formula is voltage Thevenin square by four times the load register, where load register is equal to the Thevenin resistance. And it is equal to 12 watt when we substitute the value of voltage Thevenin and the resistance Thevenin in the network. So these three problems we have solved for maximum power transfer theorem. Similar type of problems may arise uh, when we try to find the maximum power, which is what is being transferred from the source end to the load end.